So, hey guys, Chauser here, and yeah, we now got the official website up for the 7th anniversary campaign on JP. And yeah, as many guessed, it's going to be Supernova themed. I'm a bit surprised about that, but yeah, it can obviously work. And we got some new confirmed units, like in the background we have the Kizuna Legend Capone. And we'll also get new units for Rogue, Hawkins, Bonnie, X-Drake and Apu. And yeah, uh, some of these in particular like Rogue and Apu don't really have any good units right now. So that's pretty exciting to me personally. And yeah. I also want to note the background, that there are some silhouettes there, which makes me think that, well not me, many think that the units on display here, except for Capone, won't be legends, like it will be new rare recruits, maybe some new clashes, events, stuff like that. So yeah, sadly probably no Apu or X-Drake or Bonnie legend this time, but yeah, maybe in the future. And yeah, I just thought I'd show from the Discord server. Thanks for Blazing, Alpha and the gang for compiling everything. And yeah, we get a better look here. And we can see Sora on the background. That's obviously Law with the sword. And we can see Kid here with Killer in the upper right. So yeah, we have a good idea who the five units who will get legends are but we can talk a bit about that at the end of the video let's look at the other news and yeah it's the seventh anniversary and they are going to team this anniversary around the number 777 and yes yeah, you know that's a big number in japan like in treasure map 777 gives more rewards it's like the jackpot and yeah, the reason why it's 777, they say that there's going to be 7 in-game events. There's going to be 7 uh, events outside the game. And there will be 7 different Shopperman mission campaigns. So yeah, the JP players will be eating, so to say. But yeah, what I wanted to look at was the, up the expanded update for version 11. Uh, we already have the Pirate Alliances, I've not really talked about it much. It's basically going to be like Team Kizuna but permanently and not just Kizuna. So we'll see what I do about that. I've not really decided if I go with my OG team or if I join some other team with more die-hard players like myself. We'll see when the time comes closer on Global. But yeah, I'm not going to really talk about this right now. Let's go into the new info. And yeah, they are revealing the uh, Pirate Alliance Kizuna. And yeah, basically you face normal bosses and they will let you farm up super boss coins. And when you've got enough super boss coins, you will be able to face off against a super boss where your alliance will help you out it's not really clear how they help you out but from the image here we can say that it says that the, you have alliance support and that you can get it against the super boss so yeah maybe that's how they make it a gimmick i doubt it will be anything super hype it will probably yeah just be stats like normal but otherwise it looks like a team kizuna Except for they added a super boss, which I presume gives better rewards than the normal, maybe more points and such. And yeah, I just noticed now, it's the auto heal tablet. Uh, it's one of the unreleased tablets, so maybe we're get finally getting it. It was revealed like over half a year ago. I just noticed that, that's kind of cool. Uh, it yeah, basically this removes the reduced healing thing. It's not commonly used now, like it's used in Duffy 2. It's used against like Raid, Big Mom and such. So yeah, maybe it will be used more now. So yeah, that's the 
Pirate Alliance Kizuna. And yeah, they've added a new mechanic that is called Last Tap. And honestly, it's a bit unclear what this means. Uh, they mention a lot of times that when you pull off a last tap, you're going to get a flashy animation. They ma mentioned the <laughs> flash animation several times, and it also says that it will send the enemy flying. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to be a pure cosmetic thing or an actual thing. They do mention that potential abilities are linked to it, so units with last tap need to... It's not clear if you have to rainbow it to unlock last tap, but it's related at least, which it just sounds weird to me because a mechanic like this will be for the more casual players if it's cosmetic, and why would you uh, lock a cosmetic function behind rainbowing a unit potentially? So yeah, I feel like it has to have some effect, but that would be super annoying if it's like every time you hit last with a certain unit you're going to get an extra animation, like not a fan of this with current info. And yeah, we do have the icon here, so if you have this, you have the last tap ability. And yeah, we just need more info, this is all we know so far. And yeah, profile is all info. The removal of bounty and adding the new bounty system is all info. And yeah, they've added the super swap. And this is the most interesting for me, since I'll add to this when we talk about potential legends. Basically, uh, first it's confirmed that Law and Chopper are getting going to JP, and they will be getting buffed since they will have the super swap. And yeah, the way this works is every time you swap, you feel a gauge. And when the gauge is maxed and when you swap, you will get an even more powerful switch effect once. So yeah, super cool. Uh, it will ca Hopefully they'll try and make all old duos get this, but for now it's only confirmed for Law and Chopper. And will probably also happen for the new, at least one of the new Andy Legends. We'll see what they do about that. Uh, sorry for the audio, it's early, so I couldn't really be inside Since I'd wake up everyone around me talking But yeah, let's go into some speculation then if we go to the artwork here So yeah, at least in my opinion we can assume that the new legends will involve the characters Zoro, Law, Luffy, Kid and Killer but yeah, there are some things to consider here, like a uh, manga spoiler warning, but obviously those five in the story have a very central role and a big role, and it feels like it's too early to go to that place right now. Like, that feels like something a year from now. So, what else will it do then? Like, if you think about the anime, we have a pretty iconic moment incoming. You know, if you aren't aware, it's the Luffy Kid Law moment on the ships. Like when they recreate the Sabaody moment, super hype. And of course, Zoro and Killer have some connections, like they fought with each other, and yeah, in the future too. And they are both second mates on their crew, so yeah. And if we also add the idea that this might be a Super Sugo, and if they do a Super Sugo, it wouldn't make sense to do a lot of new legends. Like, that would be super shitty. Like, say they do five new legends on a Super Sugo, and they don't rerun for, like, half a year. Like, yeah, I'd, that would be super dumb. So, yeah, my personal prediction so far, if we take the Super Swap into account, I'm going to predict two new legends for Ani. And the first legend, going to be super hype, it's going to be Luffy, Kid and Law trio units. And yeah, that might sound dumb, but yeah, I hope they go make something new like that for Ani. And like, they can do that without revealing it in the update information, because imagine if they write in the update information, oh, we're adding a trio unit too. Like, they are basically confirming the unit then, so of course it will be a surprise. But yeah, I see a trio unit working like a normal duo unit, except you can swap three times. 
and they do I hope they all have three different colors would be very cool and of course with the new super swap uh, you want to switch a lot anyway so it will be really cool and I'd imagine it will be like strength Luffy Dex Kid Quick Law just swap between them get the super swap and I imagine that the super swap will have great synergy with their special and since it's a trio unit you can just go all out with the captain ability like make it 5.25 times captain in trio form for strength dex and quick and then in single form you can still like to for luffy 4.75 times strength and four times dex and quick and likewise for the other colors like i think that will be super cool i really do hope they go for that and not do just like generic Luffy, like a generic Luffy from Wano or and like I would want them to wait a bit longer for the yeah the rooftop battle so to say. And they obviously the second unit then will be a Zoro and Killer duel legend. I think it would be really cool, personally. And yeah, they could do a, probably a Dex Zoro quick killer. Kind of boring, but since the rest of the batch will be strength dex quick it makes sense from that perspective so yeah that's my early predictions it's kind of inciting exciting uh, uh it's kind of funny that they chose these five units in particular to get legends if we're assuming that's the case since obviously they have a lot of iconic moments together and obviously they have a very big moment coming uh, in the future and yeah I'm sure many hope that Bandai will skip to that rooftop battle already but let's be real it's a bit early for that but yeah thanks for hearing me out guys see you next time